Hey, what's up guys? It's Andrew and today I'm going to be showing you five easy tips to get the most out of the battery life on your OnePlus One. So now one of the easiest things to do is to decrease the sleep time on your device. I usually have mine around 30 seconds because usually if I'm not using my phone within 30 seconds or I'm not tapping the screen, I'm usually not going to use it at all. Alright, for the next one, you're going to want to go ahead and make a battery profile. Now, Sanjimon comes with built-in profile manager. So what I usually do is create a power saver one, and that's pretty much just disabling Bluetooth, GPS, Wi-Fi, just everything that could be considered a battery hog for your device. Now, the great thing about this is, is that you can change them up on the fly from the power menu. So for if you bring up the power menu, you go ahead and see that you could change up the profile from right there. All right, and if you want to check the battery life, you could always go into the battery app in the settings. Now this shows you how your charge state, how much percentage you have left on your battery. A graph showing you the the stacks on your battery life so far. And you can also see which apps are taking up the most of your battery life. Now if you tap on any of them, you get a more detailed view of why it has taken as much percentage as it has. And if you notice one that's abnormally high, you could always just cancel that app. Now in combination with that, you could also use the developer option to kill app with the back button now so that if you see an app that is taking up a lot of battery you know to kill it completely once you stop using it by pressing and holding the back button you can go ahead and see the app killed came up right there all right now the next two have to do with the performance setting in your settings app now you could always decrease the cpu frequency down from 2.5 to 1 point something gigahertz now that will reduce the amount of battery usage from your cpu this could also be achieved from the profile section and if you save it a power saver mode it will do the same thing but if you'd rather have it balanced and then just switch up and fine tune the processor speed you could always do it from the maximum cpu frequency section and lastly uh, i'm going to go ahead and recommend that instead of using that power saver mode you download the battery guru app from the from google play and enable the automatic power saver mode from it. Now pretty, now pretty much what it does is it analyzes your usage for a few days and then it optimizes your phone to get the most out of your battery based on how you use it so far. Now you could always enable that but if you just want to have a power saver mode that enables automatically like on the HTC One or Galaxy S5, go ahead and open up the settings of Battery Guru open up low power mode and then activate automatically when it reaches a certain percentage and you can also customize what gets disabled and what gets enabled so if you don't want to have to deal with a battery profile you can always just use this instead or use both of them at the same time depending on how you want to use your phone all right now that's pretty much going to cover for this video i hope this will help you get the most out of your one plus one i know that right now i'm roughly getting a full day and a half's worth of battery life out of my phone but then again it just depends on how you use it be sure to check out the full tutorial linked in the description below to get the full breakdown on all these different settings and like always be sure to like comment and subscribe have a good one guys